I was a kid, my father and I always talked about building an ice rink in the backyard. Over the course of the last year and a half, that is exactly what we did. Now, let's take a look back where it all started, November of 2016. Is that heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, I got it. I think it's I think it's good. That, that one's gonna be short too, bud. Should always have safety goggles on, okay? Wear your safety goggles. Oh and remember, you cut twice, measure once. We took um Let's see, three two by fours here and cut them up here so that we get basically 16 inches right here up, you know, versus 15 here. There's a nice 45 degree miter cut in here. And then we're obviously gonna put stakes through here to hold it in, to hold it into the, uh, into the ground. So stakes will go right through there. And uh, I don't know, we'll see if it holds holds back all the water and gets a, you know, makes us an ice rink that we can actually skate on. All right, so now that it's snowed a little bit, we have to reinforce the walls because the water level is getting a little high, as you can see right here. So, because the ground isn't necessarily even, so we have to uh, bolster the walls on the one side so that we don't break it. holes basically this um, this area of the rink is gonna have extremely deep water deeper than I thought it was gonna be so in order to take uh, you know handle the pressures of that ice we've got to put this board in uh, to make the let's see we've got two by sixes right here we got to make it higher um, hopefully that'll hold the pressure of the water and the ice we'll see what happens that if we get the rain we're supposed to tonight, we're gonna have a full rink by the morning. All right, so to fill the rink, what I've done over the summer was I created a rain barrel system, which you can see over here. There's two 50 gallon rain barrels right here. And right now, if you come real close, you can hear them filling. Hear it? I know, sounds like my grandfather taking a leak, Mikey. Thrillsville, if you can name where that movie, or that what movie that's from. Anyway, so um, this will be 100 gallons worth of water. However, right now, since the snow's melting and we're supposed to get rain later, and I have the spigot over here wide open, 
it should be catching all kinds of water. Anything that goes in here should go right out and end up down there. So the way that works is if you come over here, I've interrupted the downspout right here and you can hear the water flowing right through. In fact, there's so much water flowing through here that there's stuff going that way to the rain barrels, which you heard dumping into the rain barrels. But it also, there's enough that it's actually overflowing and going into there. So right here is a diverter that will catch the water, push it over to here, and then push it down there. And then once the uh, rain barrels are full, because this is completely level, the, rain, the water will push back here and then just continue going down there. So it's not gonna overflow the rain barrels or anything. So it's uh, free water. We already checked with our fire department and the water company, and they don't, you know, fill swimming pools or do anything like that anymore for free. So uh, if I wanted to fill that without doing this, I'd have had to pay for it all myself. And um, I'm cheap. So, but that's the rain barrel system and that's how we're gonna get a nice rink here in the winter. KK and I just put on it. <laughs> we did. That's how we roll. All by ourselves. Snow. It's snowing. Don't fall. You can hear it cracking. We definitely uh, need another surface on it. Like right now? No. We're not putting another surface on. Hockey gloves, stick, skates. Where's the puck? Uh, in the snowbank. Oh, right I love hockey. Yay! Hockey. Oh. You missed. Mom. <laughs> so is it safe now for me to get on? Mom. Is it safe now? I don't know. Because you've tested it? It seems pretty safe. Put your life in danger? Caitlin. Swell. Cracks and all. Swell. Just keep moving. Now we had a catastrophic problem here in the corner where we lost a boatload of water when everything thawed. So there's not a lot of water left in here. I need more. But what I did was, in order to reinforce the corners, Go over here. I bought brackets. And then, in order to fill it back up, I'm stealing water from the entire French drain. So, hopefully, this will fill it up. Unfortunately for myself, I never got to skate on the rink last winter because there was no more winter. Uh, by that point, the rink never filled up again uh, and we, we couldn't get it to freeze. So we left it there in preparation for this year. Currently, we're putting uh, skates on to go out here 
on the backyard rink. And uh, this will be my first time on the backyard rink. And uh, very excited. We'll see what happens. It'll be fun. Yeah, off of your toes. You got it. <laughs> not really. <laughs> kidding me? I see you going backwards. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, but it's really bad. Okay, wait. I don't want to run into that. So... Oh my gosh. I'm going to end up falling. Or doing like a split. <laughs> you can't do a split, can you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I just well, you just learned tonight. Well, okay. No, no, no. When I wake up. Oh, when you wake up. A little bit of a crack. I already broke the rink. We've been out here for what? Two and a half minutes and uh, we have a broken ice hockey rink. Back at the ice rink, I think so. So we're gonna have a, some some skating time, and then we're gonna play some hockey. Hockey, so well maybe we can okay. do this. So are you ready to get on the ice, Dad? Yes, I'm ready. All right, so that's ready for for coaching. All right. the Karpinski Backyard Rink. We really enjoyed making it and hope you enjoyed watching us doing it. Karpinski, he just got done with his first game. 
Maxwell, how are you feeling? Good. Good? Yeah? Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah. Did you score a lot of goals out there, make yeah. a lot of saves? Yeah. All right. What's your plan for next game to win? Second period is... Ops. Oh, he's talking second period is the big period for him. I would agree with that, sir. All right. Thanks for tuning in uh, to the backyard rink, and uh, have a great day. Yeah, and have a great day, and Daniel Ice Crank, and, and please don't fall down. And please don't fall down. Yeah, and skate, <laughs> and use your stick.